So here I'm going to show you a little science experiment that anyone at home can do with just some water and a frying pan. What I'm going to demonstrate here is the Leidenfrost effect. And I'll give you a small demonstration first of what it is and then explain what's going on. I've got my frying pan on top of a gas range here. And looking at the temperature, if I can bring it up, it's actually off the scale. So this frying pan is above 600 degrees right now. Yeah, it's, it's above 600 because the scale of that thing is really starting to stink from being so hot. Got a syringe filled with water. Now just watch what happens to the droplets. Notice how the droplets are not instantly vaporizing, they're kind of just rolling up together and like this one here and just rolling around on top of the frying pan. Got a crazy one spinning around right there. <laughs> what's happening here is this is what is called the Leidenfrost effect, but what's happening is at a certain temperature these water droplets will actually form a gas barrier under them. So they evaporate some and they form a water vapor barrier between frying pan and the water droplet itself. So this actually keeps the water droplets from instantly vaporizing. So it keeps some of that heat conductance off of it. Now, as you can tell, the droplets are still evaporating, so the leading frost effect does not last forever. Eventually, there will come a point where the leading frost effect will break down, and of course, the drops will all vaporize and evaporate. Now, this is a very simple experiment anyone can do at home with just an ordinary frying pan and some water. Just make sure you get into some droplets. Smoking here too. But well, I think I'm smoking the handle a little bit. <laughs> but you see that one blob there is just rolling around everywhere. Just rolling around it. Very simple demonstration of the leaf. I'm going to turn this burner off. Let it cool down some. One blob doesn't give up. <laughs> but you see now it's starting to cool down by turning it off and it's actually getting to the point where the laden frost is breaking down and that water blob is now boiling away. It's pretty much gone, but again, like I say, this is the light and frost effect. It's very easy to demonstrate at home. Just get a frying pan, put it on your range, let it heat up to a sufficient temperature, and just pour some water on it. I recommend you do it in beads, because if you just put a pool of water on there, it may not demonstrate the effect that well. 
it's a very simple experiment that you can do for school or something like that if you want to do research on it. Very simple experiment.